Hey dad, where's my case? Hey guys, in today's video, we're going to compare the 511 Tactical M4 Shorty case to the Taylor guitar case. In this video, I want to keep two definitions in mind. One is covert. And covert means to not openly display or reveal. And the second definition is camouflage. And camouflage means to disguise. So as we go through today's video, I want to keep those two definitions in mind as we look at these two cases. Recently, we took a road trip with a bunch of high school musicians and we went to Raleigh to look at a couple of large music stores. And while I like listening to the kids play and I like music, after a couple of hours in those stores, my mind started to wonder. And I stumbled across a tall stack of guitar cases that were on sale. I had already ordered a covert carry case for the M4 Shorty. And so I started looking at this case and thinking, and it seemed like, well, it, it looked like about the right size to conceal a, an AR-15 rifle. They were normally $40, and these particular cases that I got were on sale for 30 bucks. And so I thought it would probably be worth giving it a try. And then if it did seem to work, I could use that uh, case in this video today. So basically what we're going to do in today's video is compare a guitar case, not made for a, a firearm at all, to a purpose-built covert carry case. Let's start by taking a close look at both of these cases. First, let's take a look at the 511 Tactical product. This is a very high quality product and it is purpose-built for firearms. Now, certainly if you are an operator, if you're a law enforcement officer or someone who has to carry a firearm for duty, you need to consider a, a device that's made specifically for carrying firearms and not uh, a device made for guitars. And I think this would be the kind of thing that you would have to look for in that situation. It has a large pouch in the front for carrying Although this is kind of bulky, it's really made for carrying a, a go bag rather than just putting some magazines in here. I would say that they have upgraded this. This was about a $70, $75 purchase. And I have noticed that um, they have a now upgraded model. They've changed, I think, some of the, the fasteners and rings. Um, they may have put some more straps inside for holding things. I don't have one of those, so I can't really compare. I can tell you that the price has gone up to about $100, though, for this particular M4 Shorty Covert case. But this is very well made. The handles are, are very tough and comfortable to grab. There's a carry handle on the side. There's a carry handle on the top. It has a single shoulder strap with a small stabilizing strap. This particular model has a area on the other side. If you wanted to switch from left hand to right hand, you can switch the shoulder strap. So this can be switched over to carry uh, left hand, left shoulder or right shoulder. I think they may have improved the fasteners um, in this area as one of the improvements in the new model. This has a breathable back that's cushioned. A very nice strap that also has the breathing material and is very heavily cushioned. It'd be very comfortable. There's a Velcro strap for attaching other devices. Inside the case, we unzip it. The zipper goes um, about 300 degrees around. You have complete opening. There is a pouch to carry either the buttstock or the muzzle end of your firearm and then a strap to secure your firearm. This is a one position strap. I'm not sure if the newer models may have more uh, attachment points inside. The zippers are very high quality. There's a very thick cushion on both the back and the front of this case to kind of cover the print of your firearm. But this, I would say, is, is certainly fits the definition of covert. In other words, it doesn't openly display that you have a firearm inside, but it doesn't really look like a whole lot 
else. So my point would be that this certainly is covert. It doesn't openly display, but it is not camouflaged in that it's really not disguising what's inside uh, this particular case. So that's one issue that I think that if, if somebody saw you walking with this, they might be suspicious that there is a firearm inside. If you use your firearm in your work, you need the quality and the design of this. Uh, with the single shoulder strap, you'll be able to pull it around and get your gun into action a lot faster. And so if those kinds of issues are important to you, then I think you give up a little bit of the disguise to get more functionality. Now, one other issue that I have, this case is called a Covert M4 Shorty. And I just thought that maybe a carbine would fit in this, but as you can see, a carbine does not fit and the barrel's just, it's gonna stick out pretty significantly. So, we'll take a look at what firearms will fit in this case. So here we have, uh, this is just my registered drop-in auto sear gun, so it's a full auto has a 10 and a half inch uh, TD 415 upper. I also have a Voltor stock, which is a little bit longer than normal. Uh, but this is certainly, I think, qualifies as an M4 shorty. And the problem is in either, either if you put the butt in here, it's going to stick out too much. If you put the muzzle in, the stock is still going to be too long to, to close the case. And so the 10 and a half inch gun with this particular stock, I think if we change the stock out to maybe a Magpul Mo, it would probably just fit in here. This is a, a registered short barrel rifle, and this has a, a seven and three quarters inch barrel. So this is very short barrel, and it has the smaller stock. This particular stock is a Rogers stock. And so in this case, it will fit, okay? And if we put the muzzle down, it'll probably fit even easier, okay? The magazine's going to stick a little bit too far out. This is a 7.62x39 Diablo PWS upper that we're going to uh, feature in a comparison video coming up. But, um, but with the magazine in, it's, it's not going to fit. So you would have to take the magazine out um, to fit it in this case. So I think one factor that's a, a downside to this case is just keep in mind how, how short this is. Um, They advertise it about 28 inches. Now, if it's 26 inches or less, it should fit comfortably. Anything over that is going to start being a squeeze for this particular case. But once again, it's a very high quality purpose built case by a company that, that has a good reputation for building quality products. It is more expensive. And like I said, the newer versions are approaching around $100. Now, so let's take a look at this uh, case that I just happened to, to look at when I was bored at the music shop with all the kids. Now, this is a guitar case, okay? It is not made for firearms. But when I looked at it, it just seemed like maybe a gun would fit in this really well. There are a couple of things that were very attractive. Number one, it's got fairly decent carry handles on the side. Now it doesn't have any carry handles on the top, but it has a, a nice carry handle. It also has a pouch that's relatively thin. And what I have found is that three 30 or 40 round magazines will fit right in the bottom of this. And because this pouch is relatively thin, it holds the magazines in place fairly well. So this is good. You can put three 30 or 40 round magazines in it. You can put three 30 round magazines in the bottom and a fourth one on the top of crossed. So uh, it does do a fairly good job holding magazines. Now inside the case, it is cushioned both on the front and the back with a very thick cushion that should um, hide the print of your firearm. The zipper goes all the way around so you can get a complete uh, you know, kind of book opening of the, uh, of the case. There are, uh, there's a pretty thick cushioning all the way around. And one thing that I noticed, now this is a 16 inch AR carbine, okay? It's not the shorty and it fits really well in here. The bottom is very cushioned and very thick. There's actually a little extra um, material in the bottom. There's actually some bumpers on the bottom because that's where your guitar is gonna be sitting a lot of times. 
Now I thought about um, using some rigid foam and making an insert and I may well do that in the future. But just as it is, if you put your, your M4 in here and you can use maybe a 20 round magazine and it would fit fine. And then when you close it up, it really fits perfectly. I was just really shocked. Now, you got to keep in mind, this isn't for law enforcement. This isn't for military. This isn't for an operator, if you will. But if you're just a normal guy like me, and let's say uh, you have your AR-15 in your condo, and you just want to get from your condominium to your truck so you can go to the range, and you don't want to raise the eyebrows of all the neighbors, then for, for $30 or $40, this is not a bad option. Once again, you can have four magazines and an AR-15. The other thing is, on the back, you have back straps. And once again, if you're an operator, you'd rather have the tactical single strap so you can swap that thing around real fast and get to your rifle. But if you're just toting the rifle and you want to carry it so people don't recognize what it is, there's a carry handle right here. Very nice. And so you can, you can take, tote this thing like a backpack. You have a nice carry handle on the side. And it gets back to the definitions that we talked about at the beginning of this video. The difference between a covert case and camouflage case. This really camouflages this gun. When you look at this, it doesn't look like a gun. It looks like something else. And so I think that's the difference between just not openly displaying what it is and disguising what it is. So this really disguises the gun as a guitar. Well, I hope you found the information useful. These are very different cases. The A511 tactical case is more expensive, it's more durable, it's more rugged. It also won't hold the same size firearm. And it's covert. It doesn't really camouflage the fact that it's a firearm but it doesn't openly display the fact that you're carrying a firearm either. Now the Taylor guitar case isn't purpose built and it certainly wouldn't be something that you could use for duty use, but for transporting from point A to point B without anybody knowing that you have a firearm, it really does a better job as far as camouflaging what's inside the case. And it'll hold a 16 inch carbine. And this particular case on sale was only 30 bucks. I hope you found the information useful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button. If you have any questions or comments, please post those and I'll try to respond to those in a timely fashion. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week. Noah, stop. <laughs> Start over.